wondering that how ma'am will teach while eating the food. Why doesn't ma'am require any type of energy for delivering the lessons? And we all know that the energy source is only the food. In class sixth, we have already studied that food contains five types of nutrients. They are carbohydrates, proteins, minerals, vitamins, and fats. The mode in which we are taking food and the way the body is utilizing it is called as nutrition. You might all have seen that when we, that is the human or some animals are eating the food, they, the food is derived from plants. That means we depend on plants for our food. So our mode of nutrition is heterotrophic. That is, we are all heterotrophs. One, as we all know that plants can synthesize their own food by the process of photosynthesis using simpler substances. And that's why they are called as autotrophs. Auto means own and as we all know that trophs means nutrition. That is, they can derive their own nutrition. Autotrophs. To know more about these autotrophs, you have to come to my kitchen. So let's go. Let me just share the recipe of boiled rice. Surprised? Don't get surprised. Because this recipe will really help us in our chapter. So wait and learn. You all might have eaten the boiled rice. For this, what is needed is rice, water and salt. These are called as raw materials. This is raw. So these are called as raw materials for boiled rice. I have put this rice in this and as you all know we have to pour the water. Once we pour the water we will add the pinch of salt which will act as the mineral content for the rice. Is my rice ready now? Can we eat it? No. We have to cook it. And for cooking I need some type of energy. Only raw materials will not let me give my dish. I need an energy and a source of energy. For this I can use the heat energy of the gas. I can use the microwave energy. I can put my bowl in the solar cooker and use the sun's heat. Different methods can be there to cook or to make the boiled rice. In similar manner, the plants also make their food. Let us see what are the raw materials in the plants and which energy the plants use. As we have seen, the kitchen was the place to prepare the food. In similar manner, the leaves are the kitchen of the plant as this is the site where the food is synthesized by plants using the light energy of the sun. This light energy of the sun is trapped by the green color pigment present in the leaves which is called as chlorophyll. Here the raw materials which the plant use are carbon dioxide from the air and water from the roots.